Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Nico and you're watching Dare to Game. Today we're playing Red Dead Redemption 2 and this is the probably the last video I'm going to do for this. Gotta be honest, I'm pretty much done with the game. So this is my conclusive review. Now unlike Kingdom, Kingdom Come Deliverance, which was the first conclusive review I did, uh, this one didn't take nearly a thousand hours for me to decide that I had done enough. Um, yeah, so before we get into anything, I just want to put a huge spoiler warning in here for the game, the epilogue, everything. This this is going to contain spoilers, you know. I won't I won't go too much into detail, but just a warning, this might ruin the game. There might be details in here that, that screwed up for you, so if you don't want any of that, just <laughs> avoid this video. Uh, but so let's just get right into it. Uh, so I gotta say, good game. You know, I don't want to disparage this game. It took me less time to complete, you know, to get to a point where I feel that I had done enough. Um, but that doesn't mean it's, it's, it's not a game that is quality, you know, it's definitely a good one. This is, you know, games like this don't come out super often. Uh, gotta be honest, maybe two, three hundred hours? I, I, not a hundred percent certain. I know it's over two hundred hours. I don't know if I made it quite to three hundred hours. But, so we're right around there. So this is my conclusive review for Red Dead Redemption 2. So, first of all, we'll jump into, I'm, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about gameplay. And now, gameplay is... it's okay. It's it's good in some parts and not so good in other parts. Now, for the most part, I like riding. So we'll, we'll, we'll ride a little bit here. Uh, it's... Let's see, uh, right, right there. Um, n not a fan of that function. They really want you to hit stuff in this game. You're riding in the woods, you will hit a tree. Sometimes it feels like the controller jerks directly towards a tree to make sure that you hit that tree or animal or whatever. If you're in the city, you're going to hit them. Trust me. If you pull away, it will only pull you back harder. So I'm not a fan of that. Pretty annoying. Gotta be honest, swore a couple times, screamed, frightened my wife and children. You know, not angry at them. The game. I'm angry at the game. You know, not a fan of that gameplay feature. What I am a fan of is this gameplay feature. Pretty smooth if I do say so myself. Gunplay is not bad. Obviously, maybe a little violent. It is a game about uh, murderers and thieves in the Old West, so I hope you weren't expecting a super family-friendly experience here. Now, mind you, uh, that brings me to my next topic, which is decision-making. And now, while this game doesn't do great in that department, basically, no matter what, you get the same ending. You know, there's some cutscenes a little bit different. You might feel better about yourself one way or the other, but really, the game... It has a story to tell, and it tells that story. The point of this game was to bring you up to the original game, bring you right up to the start of that. And so with that in mind, you know, there's honor, and you can be a good guy, kinda. Like, you can be a nicer guy personally, but you still commit all the crimes that you commit. You know, just because someone's a Pinkerton, killing them shouldn't really be more or less acceptable than any civilians. You know, you're just riding through town. What's the difference between killing five guys walking around Saint Denis and five guards, you know, while you're robbing a train? You know, so the honor system's a little skewed, in my opinion. And they really don't give you a lot of choices in that regard. You go on these missions, you do kill these people, that's how it works, or you die. You know, so as far as choices are concerned, they really don't make a difference. Uh, little spoiler warning here again, like I said, this is this review is gonna have a lot of those in it. Uh, there's a part in the game where something terrible happens to the protagonist, Arthur Morgan. And after I realized that, I was like, oh boy, so I started a new playthrough. You know, I kept playing on my main one because I wanted to see how it ended. But I started on a main play on a new playthrough to try and see if I could do everything right, you know, try and fix what I had done wrong, some way to escape that terrible fate, and it, you can't do it. It's a quest that you have to do, you have to do it that specific way, and I tried, I was like, well, maybe I just won't be a complete dick, maybe I won't beat this guy up. And it, it cuts to a cutscene and forces you to do it. Like I said, I was like, not a fan of that. I like having choices in video games. Obviously, they want they wanted to tell a specific story, story so if that's not what you like, this may not be the story for you. Uh, with that in mind, uh, I've seen people talk about this like it's an RPG. Not an RPG, not even a little bit. Uh, there are no RPG elements. There's no skills. There's no... You, you can't choose who you are. You are this person. That's it. So not an RPG. Don't call it that. It's an open-world action-adventure game. Uh, like I've said, the gunplay, I do enjoy it. Um, it could be better. It could be worse. It's better than Grand Theft Auto's. Uh, not as good as dedicated shooter games, you know, so there's that. I do like the dynamic weather cycles and day and night cycles. They're all good. Uh, horse testicles that shrink in the cold, that's interesting. I mean, 
it seems to affect other people more than me because it seems like every single horse I buy or find is a female. I think it wasn't until I got the one from the war veteran who I went hunting with. That was the first male horse I had in the entire game. And it was groundbreaking. The testicles, I tell you. But anyway, moving on. Uh, customization is okay. I do like the clothing. I think that it's pretty cool that they... That there's a good variety, and I wasn't too impressed until I started doing the hunting and uh, the crafting for the unique stuff that you can get him to craft, because that's when you get into some really cool rugged stuff. But even the stuff you can buy is cool. I like how it you can layer everything. You can make a lot of different outfits. As a fan of Western TV shows, movies, that sort of stuff, I really liked trying to figure out how to do that. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Weapons, um, not great variety. Considering the hundreds, if not thousands, of options for weapons in uh, the Old West, the, like, dozen or so that you have access to in this game isn't that great. But the customization, again, cool. It's really cool. You can customize every part of the gun. Uh, they've got many options for what color you want it to be. If you want an engraved, different grips. That's all good. And there's nothing terribly unrealistic about them other than the price, which I covered in a video recently, so if uh, you haven't seen that, go check it out, it's a good video. I analyze all the prices in it, and of course they're not great, but you'll see more about that in the video. But anyway, other than that, I like it. There's no scopes for your handguns, which weren't unheard of, but really rare. You know, and it, they all handle pretty well, and they all have pros and cons, but they're all pretty well balanced. So weapons, I, I like in this game. Uh, story, as for content goes, like I said I touched on it a little bit, but I'll touch on it more here. It's a good story. It's certainly one of those stories that's way better the first time. Um, I played it twice now. Well, two and a half times. I'm currently partway through another playthrough. I just, you know, it's interesting doing different side missions at different time in the story with different honor levels, you know. So choices don't make a huge difference, but you'll get different dialogue options, and there's things you might have missed. So, you know, so like I said, two and a half times is about how much I've played through it. And, uh... The best things that i found so far, um, game-wise, the main story's solid. It's a good story, but like I said, as someone who really likes freedom, the main story really didn't do it for me. Quality missions, interesting narrative, not what I would call game of the year. Um, but a lot of the side content, your random encounters, your stranger missions, were funny or <laughs> surprising. A couple were kind of gross, like you run into some incestual possible cannibals at a pig farm at one time and there's a cabin where I'm pretty sure you get raped you know didn't happen to me but I saw some other people on YouTube talking about it so I was like oh boy I haven't run into that but it'd be interesting uh real deliverance vibes coming off of it so yeah story it's 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 a good enough story it's definitely one that's people are going to talk about for a long time um graphics are obviously fantastic I'm playing on the PS4 Pro uh from what I understand Xbox One X is even better um, can't wait until it's on PC, because, whew, boy, I'd rather be playing it there. I know that after I built my nice PC and then have to play it on the console, wasn't a fan of that. But, you know, they're great, great graphics, very picturesque, amazing to look at, especially a lot of the, uh, the sweeping vistas. Vistas, I don't know how you say that. I'm thinking of Windows Vista. Windows Vista. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so graphics, I gotta give a great, you know, great pass. Controlling, like I've said, a little clunky, slow, unresponsive, but pretty much, you know, par for course for Rockstar games. Uh, overall, I'd give this... I, you know, this is not a 10 out of 10. That's my opinion. You know, I've, I've seen a lot of places, 9, 9, 10. I would give this 7.5, 8 best. It's a good game. It's definitely one that you should play, especially if you like the first one, or if you like open world games, or if you have an interest in the Old West, because there are a lot of parts of it that are just fantastic. Side activities, fishing, hunting, all good stuff. Very interesting. Exploration's great. Um, definitely not a game you want to pass. You know, maybe wait until it's on a little bit more of a sale if you're not sure about it. But yeah, so that, that does it for this review. I'd like to know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, drop a like. Subscribe. You know, you know what you're doing. You've been here before. Wait, wait, wait. Postscript. A little PS here. Almost forgot it. Super important detail that I wanted to add. The epilogue is terrible hate it. It's slow, it moves along, you're begrudgingly moving through it. I get what they're doing. They want to bring you up to speed so it feels like you can transfer smoothly from this game into the next one, but it's bad. It's boring. And the worst thing about it is, it's realistic. You've got this snagging wife who, and don't get me wrong, not all wives nag. I get it. I get it. But this one does, and she's really annoying. 
and her motives don't make much sense and she's always complaining about one thing and wanting another thing and and you know, the character you play as just ugh, it's not good i don't like it i wish you could skip it i wish if you played the game differently you could get a different epilogue you know go to tahiti live spend the rest of your life with coconut bikinis and alcohol you know whatever that would be better or I don't know, go to church for seven and a half hours every day. Still better than the epilogue in this. Very boring, very uninteresting. The best part is when a guy almost gets cooked on a fire, and that's a little gross, too. But, uh, yeah, so the epilogue... Boo. May maybe my review of the game would be better if the epilogue wasn't in there. But, uh, yeah, I just felt that it was important that I included that little tidbit. Well, that's another video in the books. I hope you liked it. If you did, smash that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to put some links on the screen here to help you subscribe and maybe see another video. But in any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day. See you next time.